Good morning and welcome. It is Wednesday the 20th of July. I am Flat Cap Come. I'm hoping you are all very, very well. Okay, coming up today, we've got yesterday's review, today's bets, full stake, £20, three bets, three each way, lucky 15s is what we've got today. Um, it's fairly straightforward, There's a couple of little bits of extras on them, but fairly straightforward bets. And then we've got this week's golf stake, which is £12. If you want to do the golf bet, that will come after. Um, and then just, a, a, I'll remind you at the end of the video, but just so I can say at the top of this video, there will not be a video tomorrow unless something exceptional uh, appears. Um, I'm not going to do a video tomorrow. I've got some stuff on. It's the first day of the school holidays, and I've said already um, I, I, there'll be some days where I won't do a video. So tomorrow there will be no video back on Friday as usual. So today is Wednesday, got a video. Tomorrow, Thursday, no video. Friday morning, video back on uh, on track all right so uh, yesterday how do we do didn't quite get there uh, we had a nice winner but it wasn't enough um, so I made it 10 on 406 back yesterday um, so the first leg of this uh, uh, bumper bet here we had uh, Ballinlock Gale place um, which got us off to an okay start Ashkar um, didn't run very well but I'm, I'm telling you right now <clears throat> if that turns up at Galway It'll be it'll be in the channel bets. Um, I'm convinced that's a Galway horse. Um, so we'll uh, we'll see. And then we've got seven o'clock. Um, Daleo snagged fifth, which is good enough for bet three six five Sky A A A Labrook something like that. About four four or five firms. Um, the whole mice then went a one at tens. My bets were subject to um, thirty p rule four, which was uh, quite hefty considering. Got tens in the morning, got a thirty p rule for and it sp at tens, um, and then White Quarry Rose, the big gamble. Uh, it did bounce back in price and it did run terribly. So uh, you know, it, it's, it, just because horses get backed in early doors, it's more. If, if you want to watch markets, sometimes those things do mean things, but on most of the times they do not. It's when you get something backed in just before the off. That is that. That's the that's more of a sign that there's there's somebody in the know. Um, and then 7.30, uh, we only went one there and it, it didn't place. So Carla Martina uh, lost us making a profit there. So we got a couple of place doubles um, and there was a single uh, place on Dalilio. Del that was it. So yeah, 10 on, 4.06 back. Um, it was worth a go. Um, it wasn't to be. Um, today we got m more straightforward um, in terms of lucky 15s. I've, I've kept them fairly simple in the end. I was just looking at all sorts of various things in the end I'm, I'm happy where i've settled to and it's one of those days where they happen sometimes i, I look at them i think yeah i like these. these these are quite good but doesn't mean anything <laughs> so as in i can think they're quite good but that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to do anything special so we're starting off we've got a southwell um lucky 15 um i, I, I do like a bit of all weather um and better in the winter slightly more inconsistent in the summer um, but this is what I've come up with for there. So we're starting off the 145 Chef de Troop. We're going with big 18 to 1 in the first leg. 220 Algaia 9s. 405 Badri 7 to 1. 510 Steel River 17 to 2. Straightforward 20p each way, lucky 15. Uh, regular viewers will know that horse um, runs very regularly, but it also quite often appears in, in the bets. Um, so right back in January, uh, it, it won at a really nice price and place within a couple of weeks of each other. I haven't haven't had it much recently, um, but I think it's it's the horse that's worth a go in that race today. So that is the first bet at Southwell. Then going on to half Lingfield, half Catterick. So two Lingfield, um, Prince Rock and 355 Baker's Boy. Uh, that's 14s and 11s. And then at Catterick, 415, uh, O'Reilly's past 16s, and 450, Mr. Strutter 11s. 20p each way, lucky 15 again. And we've got two doubles. So I'm doing the Lingfield as a 25p each way double, and the Catterick's as a 25p each way double. Uh, I should flag today as well, all three bets marginally better with extra places with Sky Bet. There are a few races where there is no extra bet, extra places. So O'Reilly's past, there's no extra places. In the, in the bet one, legs one and two, there's no extra places with any bookmaker. But I would make them marginally sky bet uh, bets today. So if you've got the option, sky bet them. Um, but there's not there's not going to be huge variance in terms of 
of place terms across some of these bets. So that is bet two. And then finishing off in Ireland this evening, um, I, I chopped and changed a lot with what I was doing there. And in the end, I've just kept it simple. I've gone for the four. I've not done anything more complicated than that. So six o'clock at Nace, Super Cub, 17 to two. And then we've got the gap to the sort of the last trio, the 7.30 Nace. I'm going for a big price in that one. Um, I do think that's really overpriced Stormy Jen. I think that's definitely, from a value point of view, it's the, it's the horse of the day for worth, worth a go. Um, it's a competitive race, big field, but that's the one I'm going with for that 7.30. 8.15, we've taken this a few times when it's placed. Walk in the Walk, 8 to 1, 8.15 Limerick. And then finishing off, again, this has been in the few, bets a few times recently. I'm keeping faith with it today. 8.30 Nace, uh, 1 Iroi, 12 to 1. Um, I think it looks like it's coming back to form and the distance might might be what it wants. So 20p each way, lucky 15 again. And this time we've got a 50p each way single on Stormy Gen at 40 to 1. That is bet free. All right, any questions in the comments as usual. Uh, if you want the golf, stay on the line. If you don't want the golf, I'll see you Friday. Back on Friday, no video Thursday. Back on Friday. All right, golf. Um, Really want something happening in the golf this week because, uh, yeah, the last few weeks have been absolutely rubbish on the golf in terms of the results. Um, so I've got a £12 golf bet um, and it's split across four things. So I've got some singles, I've got a cross-tournament Trixie, and then I've got an each-way side market Trixie and the standard um, uh, Lucky 15 regionals. So uh, this is what we're starting off with. These are just singles and I've done the small ones. Um, but I, I was I was happy just to to put them in and just do small ones and have have a little interest in some of these. Um, so in the Kazoo Classic, um, so that is six places um, playing up in Hillside up on Merseyside. Uh, we got Callum Shinkwin fifty to one, Dale Whitnell we've had a few times eighty to one, and then Oliver Farr one hundred and seventy five to one. Those are all Sky Bet six place markets. Then we've got the three M Open, so that's on the PGA Tour. Eight places there, Bryce Garnett, 125s. And in the Senior Open, six places, Wes Short, 125 to 1. So those are all 20p each way singles if you're doing those. That's £2 you bet. So that's the first little bit. Second bit, this is the Cross Tournament Trixie, uh, what I'd call a dreamy bet um, if all of these were to win. So we've got Kazoo Classic, um, Richie Ramsey. It's a short price. But for this bet, I was happy to put it in. No single on that. Then the 3M Open, uh, big price, Bo Hogue, 200 to 1. Um, so this is, again, six places, eight places, six places. And in the Senior Open, uh, Bernhard Langer, 18 to 1. I've done it as a 20p each way Trixie. And it's a 20p each way single on Bo Hogue at 200 to 1. Um, so, yeah, he, he's my value play for the weekend, uh, Bo Hogue. Um, there's definitely some jokes i'm not I, I was gonna do it and then i was like no i'm not i'm not even gonna say what we would say if boho didn't win um that would be a appalling use of humor um all right golf bet free each way trixie so um yeah i'm not there's no singles on these um so if any of them individually win that's that's done we need two at least to get in the frame oh, lost my paper there we go uh so in the kazoo classic so that's the CC Kazoo Classic 3M. Hopefully we can, we, that's that's clear enough. CC Kazoo Classic, top South African, Bryce Easton, 14s. And also in the Kazoo Classic, top Scottish, Ewan Ferguson, 7s. And then put them with, in the 3M, top Asian, Sung Yul Noah, Noah? Uh, South Korean chap, 22 to 1. 25p each way, Trixie. I've checked this out. I know there was a few issues uh, uh with being able to do these with the bookmakers, Bet365, they are fine. Sometimes Bet365 go a bit funny with some of the regional ones, but they're good with these, so you can put them on there. Um, it's worth having a little bit of a shop around with the prices between Bet365 and Paddy, because there has been a bit of fluctuation. So the main bookies for these bets are, are Bet365, Paddy and Sky, um, because William Hill don't usually let you combine them. All right, and then the last one. This is the main one. This is half our golf stake is on this bet. They are short prices this week, but I'm happy enough with it. They're all paying quarter place, uh, three places. So they're all three places, quarter of the odds. Um, so that, that makes it more more viable. So 
uh, Kazoo Classic top French Frederic Lacroix 11 to 2 in the Kazoo Classic top Scandinavian Marcus Kinholt 9 to 2 uh, in the Kazoo Classic top Spanish Santiago Tarrio Tar- 15 to 2 and in the 3M Open top European that is top European uh, not English top European Callum Tarran 8 to 1 20p each way lucky 15 that's half our golf stake so yeah the first three pages are all two pound and that is the next half hopefully that is clear um all tournaments start tomorrow on the golf uh, as a reminder if you do put the golf bets on the best way of of following them and certainly that i use is, is the flash score app if you download the flash score app um and you go into each tournament, you can literally star each of those golfers as your favourites. There's 15 golfers on there. So then when you look at the Flash Score app, you can go in and literally it will list you in your in your homepage on the favourites. Um, all of your 15 golfers and where they are at. So you can follow the tournament simultaneously. It does update pretty, pretty accurately. Um, so yeah flash score app and tag them as favourites. That's what I do each week to follow them. And then what, if you tag them in the tournament then basically what it means is they don't keep appearing. If you tag them individually, you search for the individual name and tag them, then you'd keep, they'll keep appearing in your favourites. So go into the tournament um, and look down the list. It's normally in alphabetical order unless the tee times are there. But yeah, Flash Score app's very helpful. Um, it's, I mean, for those of you who do other sort of all sorts of betting and so on other things as well, um, you know, things like that happening in, in various places, um, it is good for tennis. It's quite good for football too. Um, you can tag the right football matches so you don't need to keep scrolling through different pages um but yeah recommend the flash score app all right that is me i'll leave it there enjoy your day enjoy the fact it's uh, it's got a bit cooler uh and i'll be back on friday no video thursday back on friday see you then thanks very much cheerio